working with DSLMs and DSLRs for video, for filmmaking has become widely popular really quickly. Every photographer now has a very capable camera, very capable filmmaking tool in their bags. The issue with DSLR and DSLMs for video is that you have to rig them up a little bit to make them easier to handle. And this long journey of finding the right tools for you starts off with a cage. Let's dive into this. If you don't need sound, if you film short sequences, and if you don't need raw video, then maybe working with a DSLR or DSLM might make a lot of sense for you. Of course, if you want to push things a little further, then things will be a bit more complicated. Because they are compact and light, you will need additional accessories to have a better grip and have more control over camera shakes. And of course, if you need more recording options, codecs, video assist tools, then yes, you will need more accessories for your camera. I just got the Fujifilm X-H2S and it took me a long time to decide which accessories to use for this particular camera. Finding the right balance is not easy. Building a rig for video without going too far. Because if you do, you might as well invest in a proper video camera. So I started with the foundation and found a cage for the X-H2S. I've had other camera cages in the past for other cameras, and it always took me some time to find the right one. I had a universal cage for years, but it has its flaws. It is universal, but because you can put any camera in it, the camera is sometimes not firmly tucked inside it. And you lose several mounting points and options. Plus, this one has an open side, which, as you can see here, changed the shape of the cage with time. And then I went to this other brand that makes customized cages. I got one for the R5, and what's great about it is that it was made specifically for that camera. So all the ports are accessible, the screen, and of course, the battery compartment. My only issue with it is personal accessories I wanted to add, different annals, microphone, monitor, video transmitter, needed too many additional accessories to mount them on the cage, and I wanted to avoid this as much as possible. So when I received my Fujifilm X-H2S, I knew exactly what I needed on my cage. Two center screws at the bottom to prevent my rig from rotating on a tripod. The possibility to attach any type of handles on both sides and on top. Something robust, of course, and customized for the X-H2S and a well-established brand that would provide many different accessories for further customization. So I had to start slow with a very basic kit. This is the kit, the rig, sorry, that I'm using with my X-H2S now. And just in case you wonder, this is what I use for my behind the scenes videos now and for my YouTube channel in general.
This beautiful left wooden handle allows me to have a firm grip. I can rotate it and I can shoot confidently handheld. The base lets me have rails to support a follow focus, mat box and more. So far, I really enjoy using it. Some of the footage you just saw are from ongoing projects. I will tell you more about them when the time is right. Tiltest catalog is impressive. It continues to grow. Of course, you can use other brands, other accessories from other brands and use it with this cage. I should dive a little deeper into their offering and see how I can complete this kit. So tell me what you think. Tell us what you think. Have you ever considered it? Have you ever used Tilt has tools and accessories for your videos. Tell us in the comments below. If you are out there, currently out there looking for a cage for your camera, then take a look at their website. You might find something that is right for you. If it goes any further for me, then of course, I will tell you all about it on this channel. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. Until then, take care and please have a good one.